Hello and welcome to Selfie Torah. Toothpick. Did you know that a man in Singapore might get two years in prison now because he left some toothpicks sticking into a bus seat? It's a silly prank. Oh, they don't take these things too lightly in Singapore and he actually might go to jail. Now there's a similar mitzvah in this week's Torah portion, not about a toothpick, but about a pick, an ax. Because when soldiers went to war, the Torah commands that they carry a shovel or a pick along with them so that if they need to go to the bathroom, they can cover up anything that's smelly. Why is that so important? Why is it so vital that the Torah needs to give us one of its 613 commandments is making sure that we cover up anything that's smelly when we're in war? Okay, human decency, it's, uh, it's hygiene, but why is that so important? And the idea the Torah is trying to teach us is that human dignity is not something to be taken lightly. How we act and how we present ourselves has a really important effect on everything we do. When trouble strikes, when there's problems, sometimes it brings out the worst in people. Sometimes when there's a, for example, in a hurricane, sometimes there's looters who go ahead and hurt other people. And then there's the people who go ahead and go out of their way to help people. What determines which one you're going to be? Well, in war, things are really tough. War is brutal. Not that I've been in one, but many times soldiers do things that they wouldn't do when they were back home. And going ahead and making sure they stay clean and they don't do things animalistically, but they do things in a very human way, very um, civilized way, very classy way, helps to make sure that they retain their human dignity and act the right way. And this doesn't only apply to war, it applies to everything we do in our lives. There's a concept, and it's an important concept in Judaism, that if we act like princes, we act like kings and queens, then we will feel like that and it will affect everything in our lives, the way we treat other people and everything we do. So, from Las Vegas, Nevada, with a toothpick, have an Aguila Shabbat.